After retrieving the clay pieces from the kiln, I went back to the house and took a pretty substantial nap because I was frankly exhausted after the firing and the construction and well, everything that had happened in the past couple days. But now, since this thing apparently has not been discovered by hooligans on the island and kicked over, I am going to do a quick visual inspection of how it survived and whether or not this design would be suitable for a second firing. Alright. Alright, first things first. The camera may not be happy with the lighting difference, but here's a spotlight to see if it can see a bit better. Yeah, so the grate in the bottom for separating the main firebox from the ash pit it has sagged a little bit but has not broken or melted so that's good that would probably survive another few firings the ash pit itself actually doesn't have a whole lot of ashes in there though it would probably be a good idea to remove this bracing rock and dig out the dirt there which also served as a secondary air intake and scoop the ashes out the back of the fire pit there. Now, looking down into the top, again, the camera probably won't be happy with the lighting difference, so there's a bit of light. The grate there is mostly intact. It seems, can see a little bit of sagging in it, but it's supported on all four sides, so that would also survive second firings. Only the top set of bricks in the flue have any real soot buildup on them. The, all of the lower layers likely ran so hot that soot could not form easily, and if it did, it would quickly burn off again. Down at the intake and stoking port, there's a bit of soot at the edge, but down where the flames and coal bed were, there's again no soot buildup, only ash. Structurally, everything is still mostly solid. This brick's a bit loose, but that could easily be fixed. Everything else is quite solid, and with a small amount of patching, maybe only half an hour of patching work, could be ready again for a second firing, possibly a third or fourth if one were careful and or lucky. So, this essentially free design built using materials found just up and down this beach is survival to likely a second firing. That concludes the visual inspection of the scavenged and recycled materials experimental rocket kiln. Tonight I'm going to be stoking it up again, trying to get some nice pictures and video of the fire behavior, both because I think it's awesome and so I can do a write-up on the design, how it works, what I did, mistakes I made, how to make it better, that sort of stuff, in case anybody out there is interested. So, for now, that's all. Thanks for watching.